Have you always wanted to start a yoga practice, but not sure where to begin? Or are you curious about how yoga can help you? Well, if so, you're in for a treat as I'm teaching you basic yoga poses for beginners and sharing the benefits that practicing regularly can have in today's video. Hi Vibes Nation, welcome back to another video. I'm Mandy, life cheerleader and life coach, and I uplift others to transform their body, minds, and lives. I feel excited to have y'all joining me for an episode on a topic that y'all have asked me about and one that I absolutely adore, yoga. In this episode, I'll be instructing you through basic poses for beginners, as well as sharing some of the benefits you can expect when practicing. With such a beautiful topic, I wanna dive right in. But before I do, please make sure you hit that like button below the video and also subscribe to my channel and just make sure you hit that little notification bell so you'll be informed each and every time I have new videos coming out. And I have tons coming up for you guys, so please make sure you do. It's an easy and free way for you to support my mission at helping you and everyone else uplift themselves. And be sure to stick around till the very end of the video for the entire yoga flow so that you leave feeling fully stretched, relaxed, and energized. Breathe in life, breathe out love. This is one of my favorite quotes and more so one of my favorite philosophies for life. Some of my most profound moments have been when I've been alone in silence with my own thoughts. Over the years, the lessons that I've learned on my yoga mat have directly and positively affected all of the other areas of my life. And I fell in love a long time ago with yoga. It was a practice that was introduced to me in my early teens. I will never forget the day my dad took me to my very first yoga class. I was completely fascinated with all of the elements from the stretches to the different poses and names of them to the meditation and breath work to this feeling of complete energized, you know, vibes, and yet at the same time feeling so relaxed and leaving in a complete state of bliss. Once that seed had been planted, I was hooked, which is basically what led me to becoming a certified yoga and meditation instructor and this innate desire to want to share this beautiful healing art with the world. And whenever I stray from my practice, I truly can feel it in my body, mind, and soul. They just aren't the same. Years of daily practice has allowed me to become extremely open and flexible mentally, physically, and spiritually, and to go deeper than I ever have before internally and externally. It has taught me compassion, gratuity, self-love, and acceptance. In each session, I push myself more than I ever have, and it really has allowed me to expand myself in ways that I never even knew were possible. And of course, I continue to learn lessons on my mat that I use off in my daily life. And I see and feel a direct correlation um, when I'm on my mat to how it positively affects all the other areas of my life. And the way I really view it, and I know some of you have seen this or seen me post this on socials, social media uh, platforms, is that I really do view the world as though it's my yoga mat. And that's figuratively and literally. I've come to view yoga as a form of love for yourself, from you to you. And I truly have an appreciation for all various types of yoga because each one is special in its own way. I know a lot of you ask me what type of yoga I either teach or practice, and I gotta be honest with you guys, it really just depends on how I'm feeling and my mood and what I feel would be, at least in my own practice, when I do my own you know, yoga. I just really try to honor how I'm feeling and what I feel would best serve um, that mood that I'm in for the day. 
I really believe that yoga is pure nourishment for yourself and that anyone can positively benefit from it. And lastly, that yoga is for everybody and everybody. So before we get into the beginner's flow sequence I have prepared for you guys to teach today, here are some of the benefits that you can look forward to when you practice regularly. Coming in at number one, and of course not in any particular order, but a very often uh, touted benefit of yoga is that it will help you relieve and help you deal with stress in your life. Yoga is a favorite form of therapy for a lot of people and that's why a lot of people turn to it for its relaxation benefits. It really ha can help you to navigate those really stressful situations in your life. When you get into the flow, you know, you're able to process things um, in a different way and be able to become less reactive and more responsive to situations that happen in your life. Number two is having a yoga glow. It really is as simple as it sounds. When you practice yoga, you obviously have more oxygen flowing through your body, but you're also going to be conjuring up a lot of positive, you know, radiant vibes, and you really will start to have that quote unquote yoga glow from the inside out. Benefit number three is weight loss. Now I know I have featured uh, yoga as a way to lose weight in my uh, weight loss video and I'll put a link to that below for you guys because here's the thing guys when you're practicing yoga you are moving your body you are losing calories you're sweating out toxins um, and it, depending on what kind of yoga you do as well whether it's you know a more active form such as you know a, a power yoga or vinyasa flow you really are gonna be working your body quite extensively. And then if you even add the element of like hot yoga on top of that, you definitely can look forward to losing weight in your practice. Number four for benefits is muscle tone. And sometimes people see, you know, yogis just holding a pose or whatnot, and they might not necessarily think that they're getting like a huge um, benefit to building muscular strength. But let me tell you, in a lot of the poses and postures that, you know, you have to hold your own body weight, you better believe that you're going to start building some massive guns <laughs> to be able to hold your own body weight up. So muscle tone and definition and also just muscle building is one of the benefits you can definitely look forward to in yoga. All right, I've talked about this before regarding yoga and how it can help this area of your life, which is that yoga can benefit your sleep. After some of my yoga sessions at night in particular, I honestly sleep like a baby because I'm in such a more relaxed state and I'm just feeling so peaceful and calm and it really can have a dramatic positive effect on your quality of sleep. So something you might want to think about doing before bedtime. Another benefit to practicing yoga regularly is that it can positively impact your posture. Proper form is essential in yoga poses, so you are going to notice a difference in the way that you stand and the way you walk and overall just your posture. One of my favorite benefits that has personally impacted my life with yoga is that it can definitely benefit your mental health. Yoga has been proven to increase and improve your memory and concentration levels. Studies also claim that it can help in the prevention as well as treatment of Alzheimer's. And from my personal experience as well, just speaking from my heart now, I know you all know that I've opened up um, very candidly about you know dealing with anxiety in my life as well as ADHD. And for me, having yoga to turn to has really, really allowed me to combat stress in my life coming from a standpoint of someone who has a very active mind. And a lot of you ask me, you know, about meditation and yoga and being able to quiet the mind. 
Yoga has been a game changer in allowing me to take some time to slow things down and not always feel this like monkey mind, you know, like constantly racing. So yoga has dramatically improved my, and really I, I look at it as a therapy and a healing, you know, art for myself in terms of a mental health uh, tool that I have in my, you know, toolbox per se of things that I turn to when I'm feeling really stressed out. Yoga can absolutely help your mental well-being. Benefit number eight that I, that I really want to share with you guys is that yoga will help you to become more aware. By having to focus on your breath during practice, you're going to learn how to tune out distractions. It will also teach you how to be in the present moment in your body and to really fully and truly live in the here and now. Benefit number nine is letting go. Through practicing yoga, you will start to feel more comfortable with letting go of anything that no longer serves you. And you very well may start to notice this change uh, coming off of your mat and actually affecting things in your life. Like you'll start to view the world with a different lens in terms of what you need to get rid of in order to live in your highest self. You may also start to notice a dramatic shift in your life, or maybe not so, so much dramatic, but just this shift in the world around you in terms of what needs to stay and what needs to go. You may also notice that you feel more at peace with whatever life throws your way, and also that you just feel this sense of going with the flow, like you really get that, that flow going in your life. And lastly, you might find that you're just no longer as attached to negative emotions and feelings. All right, benefit number 10 is one of my favorites, which is feeling more intuitive. Yoga teaches you to connect with your body and mind simultaneously. By tuning into both, you will notice that your inner voice starts to become louder. And when you listen to your inner voice more often, you'll find that you start to make better decisions for yourself in your life and that you can truly live more authentically. And last but certainly not least, my favorite benefit of yoga is honestly just the pure joy that I feel every time I do it. Through yoga, I've learned that external factors make no difference in my true happiness, that true inner joy comes from within. All right, guys, now that you know some of the benefits of yoga, we're about to get our bodies flowing. But before we do, I pulled a few props that you might want to have on hand. And as I always say in my yoga videos, you guys don't need anything other than an open heart, an open mind, and of course, an open spirit to practice when I'm teaching you these poses. But if you are someone that does want to use props, which are very popular sometimes in yoga, then by all means, I'm going to put the link below for these ones that I'm suggesting. Feel free to use them, but again, not necessary, just some suggestions. So a few that I pulled that you might want to have on hand are having a towel. This can always come in handy for the obvious reason of just wiping up sweat either on yourself or your mat. Um, another thing that this can come in handy for is if you want to get a little deeper in your stretches and you don't have the next item, which is a yoga strap. Now a yoga strap can come in handy for obvious reasons, um, which could be for you to you know, wrap around different parts of your body if you wanna use it as kinda pulling yourself deeper into stretches. So that is another item you might want to have on hand. Uh, another one that I pulled for you guys is something I use a lot on my mats to keep them clean, which is just an all natural mat cleaner. Another item I always love to have, whether I'm teaching and or practicing myself, is a standard yoga block. Now again, it's unnecessary, but it can come in handy for obviously helping you to just get a little deeper again in your stretches, 
or this is a really nice way, sometimes I'll put it like between my shoulder blades or other parts of my body to actually just relax my muscles a little bit more and to use this kind of like a massager with the edges. So this is a really great prop to have on hand. Uh, the last, but certainly not least item you may want to pull out if you have one is an actual yoga mat. Again, this comes in handy just for having a little bit more sturdiness and grip under your feet and hands when you're practicing. If you don't have a yoga mat, a really beautiful solution, if you don't want to just use your regular floor as well, is just to pull out a big towel or even a big blanket and put that under yourself when you're practicing. All right, guys, that is it for props right now. Let's get flowing. Hey guys, it is time to get our bodies flowing with some basic poses for beginners. And if you're new to yoga, I just really want to communicate to you guys how important it is to just honor where you're at when you're beginning your practice. Like anything, it might take you a little while to feel more comfortable doing it, and that is totally okay. Um, another thing to keep in mind is not comparing yourself to anyone else but yourself, whether you're practicing alone today or you know, you're watching me as someone who's practiced for many years, please don't compare yourself to anyone other than where you're at today and just focus each time you do it on becoming a better version of your last time self or your yesterday self as I like to say. So with each of these poses I'm gonna be showing you today, there is definitely gonna be a flow to them. I'm not gonna, gonna start you off with uh, the craziest one or anything like that. Um, these are progressive poses, so meaning, you know, each one's kinda gonna flow into the next one. Um, and that being said, you can have the option of holding them, which we're gonna do together for about 20 seconds, or what you can do is if there's one or two or a few that you really love, after the video, if you'd like to, you can choose those ones and you can hold them for longer periods of time. And a lot of times if you want to deepen your stretch or you want to get a little bit more flexible, holding them for a longer period can really help you to do that. So without further ado, let's get to the yoga now. All right, coming in at number one is a seated twist. So all you're gonna do is sit down on your gluteus maximus, and you wanna make sure you're sitting on your sit bones, which are those two little bones at the bottom of your tailbone, and we can just shake our legs a little bit. Now for a seated twist, what you wanna do is have your legs directly out in front of you like such, you're gonna take your right leg and cross it over your left. Make sure you're sitting up and it, that's why it can be nice sometimes to do this against a wall so that you have the support of the wall just to make sure that you are keeping your spinal cord, um, you're honoring basically your spinal cord in these postures. And from here guys, what you're gonna do, you can either leave this front leg out straight or you can just simply bring it around. Now from here, you're gonna take your right arm link it over your knee, and you're going to start to twist like such. Now with it, each inhale, you're gonna breathe. Make sure that you're breathing up into your entire spinal cord. Ooh, I felt a crack. <laughs> and continue breathing while you're twisting back. Beautiful, let's hold this one for a few breaths together. You might find with each inhale and exhale, you can get a little deeper into that spinal twist stretch. Let's take one more inhale and exhale. Whew, slowly start to release. All right, let's give our legs a nice little shake. Shake that stretch out. All right, from here, we're gonna equalize our bodies now. So we're gonna take our left leg this time. For you guys, it'll be your right because the camera swaps it on us. But if you'd like to, you can leave this leg out straight or you can twist it around like such. 
Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall, guys. Beautiful. You're gonna take your arm, link it to your knee for leverage, and then you're going to slowly start to twist. Breathe in and breathe it out. Feel that nice elongation and stretch in your spine. Breathe in and breathe it out. Let's hold it here for a few breaths. Whenever I do this pose, I always feel like I'm wringing out all the toxins in my spine and my body. It's so beautiful. <sighs> Keep breathing, letting that prana flow in and out of your body. All right, one more inhale. And exhale, slowly release, bring it back to neutral center. Bring your legs out in front of you, shake them out a little bit, and there you guys have your seated spinal twist. All right guys, posture number two is a really popular, very common yoga pose called child's pose, which is a really nice way to get your body into a deep relaxation state. So let's do it together. So for child's pose, all you're gonna do is come onto your knees, have your legs about hip distance apart. You want to squeeze your gluteus maximus, make sure it's engaged, tuck in that tummy of yours. Beautiful guys. From here, you're just gonna kneel back. Beautiful. You wanna spread your legs from here out. And basically, you're going to start to inch forward. So from here, let's take a nice deep breath in. And release. Start to walk out your hands. Beautiful. Until you come into, you drop your head down onto your mat. And relax into child's pose. Keep breathing, allowing yourself to sink deeper into the ground with each inhale and each exhale. If you're holding on to any tension, just let it go. Beautiful guys, let's take one more inhale. And on your exhale, slowly start to walk your hands back towards your body. And there you guys have a child's pose. All right, I hope you guys are already feeling a bit more relaxed with these basic poses and that they're not, you know, freaking out too much. The next pose is such a pretty name, but it's one of my favorite poses as well, and it's called Butterfly Pose. So let's do it together. So for Butterfly, all you're gonna do is, whether you're on your mat or just on the ground, you wanna start by sitting up straight, put your legs, bend your knees, and put your legs right out in front of you. From here, we're basically going to start to open up our knees away from one another. Now, if you're just here, guys, it is all good. Just go as far as feels okay for you. Again, you wanna make sure you're sitting directly on your sit bone so you're honoring your tailbone and your spinal cord and just start to drop your knees down. Now, if you're only here, and I know a lot of times, you know, if we haven't practiced yoga before or we're, we haven't practiced in a while, we can get really stiff and some of these poses might feel really uncomfortable. So just do what feels right for you in the moment right now. Now, if you can continue to bring your legs out 
like such. You want to bring your palms of your feet together. You can put your arms around them. If you're here again, just stay here. If you can bring your knees all the way down to your mat, beautiful. And finally, if you want to bring your feet in towards you, like I am, then we are now in a butterfly position. From here, we're just going to close our eyes and we're going to take a nice few breaths together to really appreciate and enjoy being in this present moment in butterfly pose. forget to smile. When you smile, good radiant energy is coming into your body. Beautiful guys. Let's take one more inhale. And open your eyes and your exhale. Let's flutter our knees beautiful and bring your legs together and there you guys have a butterfly pose all right guys the next basic pose we're gonna do is a standing forward fold so let's do this one together so you're basically gonna stand at the back of your mat or you can just stand on the ground whatever you're doing today whatever you're choosing to do you're just gonna take a nice deep breath in Bring your arms to the sky. From here, you're going to put a little micro bend in your knees, start to hinge forward, tuck in your tummy, and you're going to start to come down as far as you can go. If you're here, guys, it is all good. Just make sure that you have that little micro bend to honor your legs, in your knees, behind your knees. And you also wanna be looking straight ahead. I'm just looking at the camera so I can look at you guys right now. Tuck in that tummy and just start to inch forward. If you're here, amazing, stay here. I'm gonna bring it all the way down and then we're gonna take a few breaths together, okay? So wherever you're at, stay there and let's breathe. Let's do one more inhale and exhale together. Inhale, filling your lungs. And exhale, halfway up. Inhale. And exhale all the way up. And there you guys have a forward fold. All right, the next pose we're gonna be doing for basic yoga poses is downward facing dog and you guys might have heard of this one before if you have done it amazing if not we're going to do it together now so for downward facing dog again just want to stand with your feet about hip distance apart you're going to take a nice deep breath in bring your arms above your head and on your exhale you're gonna come down just as we did in that forward fold. You're gonna walk your hands out in front of you so they're like such. You could adjust your feet accordingly. You're gonna pull in your tummy. Beautiful. And you're gonna have your hands cupping the mat. You wanna have your hands about hip distance apart as well, shoulder distance in this case. You're gonna just drop your head. You can pedal your legs a little to adjust where it feels nice. Stretch out the top of your body and the bottom of your body. You're gonna basically look somewhat like a triangle in this one, like a triangle shape. And then once you're ready, let's just drop it so that you are in a downward dog. And we're gonna take a few breaths here together.
feel all the stagnant energy releasing from your body. Beautiful guys, keep breathing. Ah, feels so good. One more breath together in and out. Start to walk your hands back to your legs. Beautiful guys, and there you have your downward facing dog. All right, now that I've shown you a down dog, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna do an upward facing dog. So for upward facing dog, what you're gonna do is come onto your mat. Basically, you're just gonna lie on your stomach like such. Beautiful. You wanna make sure the tops of your feet are directly touching your mat. You wanna stare at your mat from here. If you wanna just start to slowly lift off with your upper body. And if this is where you're at right now, this is Cobra, but you can stay here. What we're going to end up doing, you're gonna see, you're gonna breathe in and you're going to push yourself. I like to use my legs as leverage. You're gonna push yourself off your mat like such. Beautiful. And you're going to breathe in especially in the front part of your body. Just wanna fill your lungs up nicely. Make sure you're squeezing your gluteus maximus there for a beautiful stretch in your spine and your lower back. You wanna have strong legs here. Your legs are gonna be off of your mat. You wanna put micro bends in your arms so you're honoring your arms as well. Shoulder blades spread apart. And you can just look directly forward, close your eyes. Beautiful guys, let's hold this here for a few breaths. One more inhale. And exhale. And let's drop it nicely down. Woo! All right, guys. And there you have an upward facing dog. All right, I hope you guys are loving these poses so far. If you do, make sure you put a little comment below after the video and let me know which ones are your favorites or if there's a specific body part or type of yoga that you'd love me to do on my channel because I'm always, always open to your ideas and I love to teach you guys what you wanna know. So our next pose for the day is a seated forward fold. So for a seated forward fold, you're just gonna come onto your mat or again, just on the ground, if that's what you're choosing. You're just gonna have your legs out in front of you. I'm gonna do this sideways so you guys can see. Just have my hair behind me. So you wanna squeeze in your tummy, make sure it's nicely tucked in. And basically with this one, we're basically just gonna start to forward fold over our legs. So from here, we're gonna take a nice deep inhale. Beautiful, exhale, start to come forward. Now, if you're here, guys, it is totally okay. Just go as far as your body is going to allow you for today. So start to breathe in and inch a little further, in, inch further. Make sure again, you're sitting on your sit bones. Breathe in. Now, if you're here, let's just stay here and breathe in naturally in and out, feeling the stretch in the backs of your legs. I'm gonna bring it down like such. And if you'd like to, if you're that flexible, you can bring your head down and let's take a few breaths together in whatever forward fold you're in. Breathe in and release in and keep breathing out 
Let go of any stagnant energy you're holding on to from your day. Focus on being here in your body, in this present moment, and what a gift it is that you're giving to yourself right now in your practice. Keep breathing and letting go. Beautiful, guys. Take one more inhale. And exhale. Ooh, that felt so good. All right, guys, that is your seated forward fold. All right, guys, the last pose for today is one that I can almost guarantee everybody can do at home, which is corpse pose. Another name for this one in particular is Shavasana. And if you're new to yoga, that is a Sanskrit name for it. Um, but let's do it together. This one's pretty, pretty easy, I would say. So for this one, literally all you're going to do is just come on to your back like so. Just want to make sure everything's tucked in nicely. Have your arms out at the sides, palms facing up. You want to have your legs about hip distance apart. Relax every muscle. Allow yourself to sink into your ground or mat or whatever you're lying on right now. Let's take a nice deep inhale together. Exhale. And with this one, you basically are just going to lie peacefully in the moment. Close your eyes, just try to be present in your body, and let's take a few silent breaths together. start to come back into your body if you happen to go somewhere else for a moment. Let's breathe in once more together. Beautiful. Open your eyes. Breathe out. Amazing. Start to wriggle your hands and feet. Fingers and toes. Beautiful. This one you can bring your leg across you like such and just slowly start to roll up and there you guys have a corpse pose all right if you guys are new to yoga the last thing i just want to do with y'all because i love to end a session like this is just to do a namaste by placing your hands in prayer pose at your chest and just taking a bow. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this beautiful healing art with you today. Thank you for showing up for yourself. I have so much love and gratitude for you and I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day after practice. Namaste. All right, guys, I don't know about y'all out there, but I'm certainly vibing higher after that practice together. And I feel so happy that we were able to share this time. I wanna know how you feel after today's stretches or if there's anything else y'all wanna know about yoga. Is there anything that you might be struggling with in your practice if you're someone who already practices? Whatever you have on your heart, mind, or soul, please let me know in the comments below because I love hearing from y'all and I'm always happy to help. If any of y'all want to work with me as either online as a yoga and meditation instructor or coach or 
location depending, uh, want to work with me in person, uh, or sign up for any of my programs, I've put links below in the video description for you to reach out to contact me as I'd be happy to discuss with you what it is that you'd love to achieve together. If any of y'all are interested in working with me, either online or in person, location depending, as a yoga and meditation instructor or coach, um, whether it is for classes and or uh, group workshops, you guys can contact me through a link that I'm gonna put in the video description below, as I'd love to hear from you to discuss what it is you're hoping to achieve, and I'm always happy to help. Also, if y'all want to support me further in this High Vibes mission I'm on, I have a Patreon page, and on that page I have some rewards for donations that include things like yoga and meditation instruction, coaching and group and one-on-one uh, -on -one calls. So for those of you who do want to support me in that way, I really truly appreciate it. And for all of y'all who are already patrons of my work, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It means the world to me to know that you guys support what I'm doing in creating these videos and the other content I do, but also in you know the support of helping others to be in their best states as well. I love hearing from y'all on social media, love receiving your DMs and also your tags in all of your content. So if you want to connect with me on social media, I'm on TikTok, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, all the places, and you just have to tag me at Mandy J. Ross and hashtag High Vibes Nation so that we can all stay connected. I also have a free online community you guys can join called Pave Your Paradise, which is on Facebook. If you just uh, look it up on Facebook, you'll be able to find it. And I love hearing from y'all. So make sure you tag me in all of your content and allow us to continue creating positive ripples of goodness in the world through social media together. All right, a really easy, free, and simple way for you guys to support me in what I'm doing here on YouTube and otherwise is to please like this video. If you're watching, chances are you're still loving it. So please like it below, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you just hit that little notification bell so that you'll be informed on your phone or your laptop each and every time I upload a new video. And you guys can stay tuned and look forward to weekly, if not more, videos coming at you every single week. And on that positive note, thanks so much for joining me for this video. Namaste, and as always, I'm wishing y'all a beautiful day.